Carolyn Hutt, welcome to the Valder BB Show. How are you? Thanks. I'm good. Thanks for having me. Well, thanks for being here and talking about one of the favorite topics my audience enjoys immensely, and it's travel. I want my audience to know that we're going to be talking a little bit today. If You know, you don't have to decide between being a host or a guest at Airbnb, and Carolyn's going to help us. Carolyn, you're a host of Eco Cabot in Ontario, Canada. Beautiful place. Tell us how you got started and what it's like being a host on Airbnb. What's the reward? Yeah, so we got started actually with a travel trailer, believe it or not, that we had renovated. And just on a whim, we put it up on Airbnb thinking we'd rent it for the weekends and maybe make a bit of extra income. Uh, And it just, it was busy. It was booked all the time. So we ended up actually selling that, realizing that there's a place for kind of a permanent fixture here and that there's a market for this. And we built the cabin uh, with the profits that we use um, from the trailer. So yeah, it's been welcoming guests ever since and and bringing us a great income to also travel with ourselves. Most of the people uh, that we put out that we I'd be talking to you, they want to know, can they really make any money being an Airbnb host? Yeah. So, I mean, my experience has been, yes, we have rented our, our place out one third of the days in the last um, year and it's brought 45,000 Canadian. So, I mean, it's, it's been a great source of income for us. Everybody's situation is unique depending on where you are. We're kind of in a touristy place, but it's not touristy year round. It's really only two months of the year that it's actually quite busy here. Um, but a unique listing tends to be kind of booked all year round depending on where you are. So I think it's a great way to make an income. To be an Airbnb host, um, how do you get started? Where, where do you make that, that uh, connection? Yeah. So, I mean, you can check out their website, airbnb.com slash host. They'll answer all of your questions there about becoming a host. And it's actually quite easy. Their platform is so streamlined. Uh, You upload some pictures and some info about your listing and uh, you're pretty much good to go. You just choose the dates that you do and don't want to work. And yeah, it's great. Uh, Some of the questions we got, I'm going to take that one that came from Twitter. They want to know, do you have to have a whole cabin or whole home to be an Airbnb host? I thought that was a good question. No. Yeah, that's a great question. Um, actually, Airbnb was started by someone renting out a mattress on their living room. So you definitely don't have to have a whole <laughs> cabin or whole home. Um, people rent out their guest houses, their extra bedrooms, their um, their townhouses, you know, their cottages, cabins. People rent out camping spots on Airbnb. So Really, anything that you can think of, it's there. Okay. So how long have you been doing this? And did you see yourself doing this at, in any part of your dream? Um, it's not what I dreamt about when I was a child. But <laughs> it, in hindsight, it actually, it actually combines all of the things that I love. It's It's been a creative outlet for my love of like design. So it's allowed me to design small spaces, which, which I really love doing. Um, it's allowed me to experience travel and meeting new people. So when I'm not traveling, I'm here accepting guests from all over the world. And that really is fulfilling for me. And then it, it allows me the income that I, I have from the Airbnb to travel. So it really does check all the boxes for me and I have small children, so it's flexible. Um, yeah, it's been really great for me. And having an eco cab and you have something different, um, uh, does that give you an advantage on Airbnb? I think I think the unique stays are really popular right now. I think they're really trending. People want a different perspective. They want to go somewhere and experience something completely different than they're experiencing at home. And for us here in Muskoka, we're really immersed in nature and um people from Toronto are coming all, all the time to experience that. Uh, so yeah, I think, I think that there are people looking for that, but there's also people looking for, you know, a three bedroom home in s- suburban area where they're going to visit relatives. Or I think that people are on Airbnb looking for all kinds of different things. So yeah, anything goes. All right. I want to thank you so much for stopping by the Valder BB show. And once again, for my audience who have more questions than we have time uh, Carol, Caroline, where do they go? 
Yeah. So airbnb.com slash host for all your hosting questions. And if you want to learn more, more about our little cabin, it has its own Instagram page at Eco Cabin Muskoka. All right, then. I'm going to take a look at Eco Cabin because I like a cabin. My husband's from Michigan and you know, it's quite cold there. Yeah. Amazing. Thank Thanks so much for stopping by the Valder BB show. Thanks for having me. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I broadcast on radio, streaming TV, podcast, and in print publications. I interview the world's most fascinating authors, all because I love a good book. This summer, I partnered with WPS for BB's Summer Book Giveaway. We're giving away New York Times bestsellers and award-winning books, books that inspire me, and I'm sure they'll inspire you. To be eligible to win a copy of Jesus Can Give You a New Life, answer this question. What is God's greatest gift to mankind? You'll find the answer in John 3.16 of the Bible. Send your response to the email at the bottom of the screen. I'm Valder Beebe and I'll see you for the next BB Summer Book Giveaway.